My name is Robert Anderson. I'm a lecturer in learning support at City of Glasgow College. If I had to choose three things um, in terms of supporting students, including students in college, I think, uh, firstly, I think the most important one is to remember that, that um, deafness is it's very much an individualised uh, issue. You can't assume that because what worked for one deaf student will work for another deaf student. Deafness comes into that, that sort of unseen category and it's difficult for, for people to really recognise what, what the sort of needs of a student are. Um, so that's, that's, that's the first thing. Um, and on the back of that, I think the second thing I think is falling on from that is to remember that uh, to sort of take a lead from the student to be student-centred in terms of asking them what works for them and what sort of support they need. And it might be that they, 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 if they're a young student straight from school, they might not be aware of all the, the, the support that is available. And so they might not know themselves. So perhaps it's also getting them to, to be aware of that and, and giving them choices and seeing how what works for them. And the third thing um, in terms of, of making sure that a, a student is able to participate in, in, in college fully is not just to assume that just because you've put in some support or the main support being, for example, an electronic note taker or a note taker or or a sign language interpreter, that's going to mean that the, the student is going to be able to fully engage and participate in the class. You have to think about all the other issues as well to do with use of language, use of plain English, whether they're able to participate fully in discussions and so on. So there's a lot of other issues that I think you have to, to think about as well around, around perhaps the main sort of linguistic or communication choice.